Kurt Busch is one of the top drivers in NASCAR who earned the nickname the outlaw. And in a court this week, a judge granted a restraining order to his ex, Patricia Driscoll, after she accused him of domestic violence. And this morning, she's speaking out for the first time. I never saw some of the warning signs. It's a case that made national headlines. Patricia Driscoll claiming her ex-boyfriend, NASCAR star Kurt Busch, assaulted her in September. Bush testified that he was the one who should be afraid. And Commando Mommy. Bush's defense team introduced this, her pitch for a reality show. And Bush testified that Driscoll boasted of being a trained assassin. Now, he said some things um, about you and his testimony to the court, and which he said you were a government assassin. <laughs> Now, I'm here to ask you, are you an assassin? Do you feel threatened by me right now? <laughs> it's something that he's thrown out there, and it's a big, big accusation. We've heard people be called a lot of things, but never a government assassin. I'm from West Texas. I grew up shooting guns. I own a defense company. It, you know, I heard some of the most ridiculous accusations in the four days of testimony, and it was just, I, I can't, I can't even describe to you how, how hard it is to sit there and listen to these lies being told about you when you're sitting. It, it, and you can't say anything. The he says, she said court battle was spurred by that confrontation in September, but Driscoll told me that wasn't the first time. Was there ever any prior incident of violence between the two of you? Yeah, 2012. 2012 was a really bad year. Driscoll told me and testified in court that Bush had been violent once before in 2012. We ended up working it out. Bush's attorney told us that allegation of violence in 2012 is, quote, flatly untrue. Driscoll said their relationship was fine for two more years until this past September on the 26th. She drove to see Bush with her nine-year-old son after she claims he texted her. She says her son was in the front of the motorhome while she and Kurt were alone in the back. He didn't even look like himself. And long story short, he was saying some really weird and crazy things, very paranoid. And he popped up out of bed and grabbed me by the throat with one hand, and with the other hand he grabbed my face. And he smashed my head into the wall three times. And was there any warning that something like this could happen? No way, because if, if I had thought for one second that he was still angry or, or crazy, I never would have even come there. Not even if he's sending me these mm -hmm. distress texts, because I'm not going to put myself or my son in a situation of danger. It's, it's not the kind of mom I am. Now, what, what, what was going through your mind after this happened to you? Shock. You just can't believe that someone that you love, who you've spent four years with, could hurt you like this. It's unbelievable. I pushed his hands away, and I ran out of there. Bush has denied the assault allegations all along. His attorney tells us Bush did not commit domestic violence and he plans to appeal the order of protection. He's also planning on competing this weekend in the Daytona 500, one of NASCAR's biggest races worth more than $1 million to the winner. NASCAR issued a statement after the court's decision saying it would await the full findings of the commissioner and any actions by the Attorney General of Delaware related to the allegations against Bush and that it fully recognizes the serious nature of this specific situation and the broader issue of domestic violence. Let's talk about the NASCAR's reaction to this whole incident. As a sport and the, the statements that they've made, I'm very, very disappointed in the reaction. You don't think it's been strong reaction. enough? Absolutely not. What do you want and hope that this all ends up being? There's got to be a way to protect our victims better, you know? And the other thing is for the sports to take a stand. It's the biggest, highest-rated shows that are out there. Why not take that as an opportunity to say no more, like the NFL has, and say we are not going to accept domestic violence in our sport? You know, this, this story is a, a long way from over. And, you know, NASCAR, she wants a big reaction from NASCAR, whereas NASCAR is waiting to see if the Delaware the Attorney General is going to press criminal charges against Kurt Bush, Kurt Bush. So this is a long way from yeah, over. Similar situation to the NFL for NASCAR right now. Big exactly. decision ahead. Okay, Michael, thanks.